Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a singles reading. So this is for Virgo singles, you're single, right? So this is a message from my guides for you. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this message ain't gonna be like nobody else's because it's from my guides, okay? It's not your typical tarot reading. <laughs> None of my readings are, okay? So, what do we have for Virgo? We're going to get one of these until it falls out or I pick it or whatever. And then we're going to see what's on the bottom. And then we're going to use this deck right here. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do you have for Virgos? Virgo singles. What do we got? And you know, my readings aren't always pretty. I'm going to tell you what I see. Just because this is a singles reading doesn't mean it's going to say, Oh, love is going to come rushing in. No, it doesn't mean that. What do we got for singles? What can they expect? What's the single reading singles reading for Virgo? <laughs> well, release your action. Maybe dealing with a Pisces. Pisces got this as well. So that was their first card. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Pisces, but um, and you know, it's funny because they're opposite on the axis, but that's crazy shit. Anyway, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. It's time to clear your energy, Virgo. It's time to release. It's time to move on. For real, you can be single and still holding on to resentment, holding on to the pain, holding on to the hurt, holding on to whatever. You know, fear. Whatever. You could be holding on, you know, to that ex in any small way, even by a thread. Okay? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Stop. Stop worrying about it. Stop thinking about it. Stop stressing over it. It's time to release it. Don't worry about it for another freaking minute. Just drop it. Drop it. What they did, they did. What you did, you did. Let it go. Just let it go. It's time to be happy again. It is. It's time to stop crying over that loss and realize that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It is. You think about Virgo is represented by the Hermit, which is about retreat. It's time to refocus. It's time to go within. Now, it looks like this is a married couple. Maybe, maybe it's time for you to go someplace else with somebody new. Maybe you take a retreat with somebody else. Maybe that I help you to heal from your ex. Either way, it's time to release. It's time to, you know, step step out of this state of despair for real, for real. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So maybe maybe you got somebody that wants to, you to give them a chance. And you're reluctant to give them a chance because of your ex. You know? Maybe you need to tell them. Maybe you need to discuss that with them. Let them know why you are so distraught or why you are so fearful or, you know, whatever it is. Honestly discuss your feelings. Be open. Be open. So... truth acceptance a new idea a new approach a wake-up call an awakening you know what just came to me and I don't know where this is coming from but you could have an ex that you have released that may want to speak with you I mean uh, I don't know where that's coming from I don't know where that's coming from they may want to speak with you. They may want to. They may come to you with the truth. They may whatever. I don't know. This is an awakening. This is a wake up call. This is also a card of acceptance. This is also the sword that cuts, that cuts the cord. So maybe, maybe you need to have a conversation with your ex. I don't know what this is, or with somebody that says, you know, it's time to sever this. It's time to bring closure. It's time to accept. It's, I'm moving on. Whatever happiness rebirth 
Oh, avoidance, a false sense of security. Somebody has been avoiding. Mm -hmm. Avoiding commitment. Avoiding getting in a new commitment because of the what the ex did. Oh my God, no shit. Show. There's an opportunity for happiness here. This is rebirth. This is healing. With acceptance. If you could accept. Stop holding on to the false sense of security. That was a necessary evil. That The fact that this collapsed. That it didn't work out. It, consider it a blessing in disguise. Because you have something more abundant. If you could just wake up and see. Mm. Foolish. Ooh. Oh my goodness gracious almighty. Mm. So Virgo, it looks to me as though you were probably abused. Okay, you were probably abused. And I and that abuse has caused you probably to retreat. Ha! Oh, no shit. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, that abuse has caused you to retreat. You don't have anything to offer anybody, right? You're just going to focus on your money. You're going to focus on your job. You're going to focus on your business. You don't want to be taken advantage of. You're afraid of commitment. I don't want to get myself involved in any, fault, in any false foundations. I don't want to be abused. I'm going to mentally withdraw. I'm not, I don't really want to communicate with anybody. I'm going to be happy on my own. I don't want to start anything with anybody. I'm still holding on to that baggage of the past, the pain. You know, I'm trying to avoid getting into myself and any false sound foundations. I, I, I really don't want to deal with any more disaster in my life. I don't have anything solid to offer anybody. That's the fucking truth. So, afraid of commitment. I don't want to get myself in any goddamn commitments right now. I'm sorry. Anyway, that's what I see. And it's all because of the fucking ex. So... And this is like, I'm just not, I'm going to totally retreat. I'm not, I'm going to focus on everything but love. Because we don't have any love here. Woo! Ha 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 ha. Isn't that fucking hilarious? We don't have any love here. And then I pull out the Ace of Cups. This, there is an opportunity for love. Self-love. <laughs> this right here. This is, in, this is in your approach position. Open your heart, Virgo. Open your heart. Let somebody love you. It's time to release that X. There's probably an offer of love coming in. And my advice to you is to open your heart. Because this could lead to a commitment. I think it's going to happen unexpectedly. The Four of Wands reverse is an unexpected celebration. It's unexpected. It could be an unexpected encounter with somebody where you feel a deep connection. But you are going to have to open up that gate and let somebody in. This is unexpected. It's unexpected. This person... Um, is probably going to want you to give them a chance. But I feel like this person may live in a different location than you. I feel like this person does not have intentions of taking advantage taking advantage of you. I think that this person that is going to come in is honest and truthful. They are not your ex. They are not your ex. Your fear of getting into a commitment you're trying to avoid a disaster it needs to be dealt with okay it needs to be dealt with you're going to need to you know have faith you're going to need to have faith i see your fear i see the lack of faith afraid to take any risks i just bury myself in everything but love but now you know that happens and love arrives so i feel like there's some sort of emotional encounter or emotional offer or loving offer that is going to come into you you may even, you know, <laughs> feel like you, you, uh, you're afraid of it. You are probably going to be afraid of it. There's fear. There's fear of love, fear of falling in love, fear of being abused. Yeah. 
There it is. Fear of commitment. Fear of commitment. Fear of getting engaged with anybody again, right? You may feel like you're not good enough. You have a lot of doubts, right? Afraid to move in a new direction. Reluctant to take a new approach. Working on myself. Yeah, I'm just going to work on myself. I'm going to work on me. I'm going to... I'm, I'm good. I'm really, 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 really good. And when you get to this point where you're really, 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 really good, then you're ready. It's like you're ripe. The time is ripe. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're self-sufficient. You're abundant. You know, you're living your best life. And now somebody wants you to give them a chance. And you're probably like, I can't invest in this. I don't have any time or energy. I'm working on me. I'm working on my money. I'm working on my abundance. You know, I don't want to invest. I don't want to invest in anything. I feel like um, this person is definitely at a distance. And it's like they travel to you. I don't know where that is coming from. Um, definitely at a distance. This is sudden. It's very suddenly. Very suddenly. Now you're at this crossroads and you have to decide. Do you want to be independent or not? you want to be independent for a long time? Do you want to get in a commitment? Do you, do you want to give your energy to somebody? Do you want to invest in, in love? Because somebody wants you to give them a chance. Where I go, yeah, somebody wants you to give them a chance. And, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to discuss your fears with them. You're going to have to discuss your fears and have some conversations. I think that somebody is probably going to suddenly come into your life that is attracted to you. This person is um, a very honest person. This person is an honest person. This person um, will give to you. This person will reciprocate. This person has something to offer. It won't be one-sided. It won't be. Okay? This is something that you deserve. Okay? But you may try to block it. You may try to block it. You may try to block communication. You may be too fearful, too fearful to move forward with this person, to give this person any of your time and energy because of your, you know, fear of getting involved in a false foundation. But this is what you deserve. This is you getting what you finally deserve. This is you, you know, this is karma. This is karmic justice. This person is honest. This person is truthful. This person will help you to bring balance back to your life. This person has integrity. This person could be Libra. This person could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whoever this new person is. Could be Leo. Whoever this person is, this person can help you to heal. This person... Um, is kind. This person um, has something that they can offer you. Um, but you're going to have to open up your communication. You're going to have to uh, communicate with this person. Don't shut them out. Don't shut them out because of your fears. Your fears of, of getting yourself involved in a false foundation. I feel like, you know, it's time. I think that it, you have reached a point of... of It's like inner inner growth. You you've reached a point of self sufficiency, of you know, strong independence. And I think that whoever is coming towards you sees your beauty. They see your abundance. They see your strength. Okay. They see your perseverance. They see your ability to take care of yourself. And they're very attracted to that. They're also attracted to your curves. They really like your curves. Whoever this person is. They like your body. Um, you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to make a heavy decision. Do you want to give this person a chance or not? So I think that you are going to receive a love offer from somebody that is very honest. Somebody that is very truthful. Truthful. This person can help you to heal. This person will reciprocate. But you're going to have to face your fears. Okay? 
You're going to have to face your fears. You're going to have to open up. You're going to have to uh, totally release your ex, your feelings of resent. There could even be some, some anguish, you know, hate, whatever. You're going to have to release those. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you, you, you probably should get ready for somebody to come into your life that you didn't expect. Um, this person is going to communicate with you. They're going to want you to give them a chance. They're probably, they probably live at a distance. There's probably some traveling back and forth here. I don't know where that's coming from. I feel as though you may want to push it away because of your fears, but I think that you should give it a chance. This person is honest and truth and truthful. Um, this is this is this is your karmic justice. This is you getting what you deserve. This is like the universe giving you a chance to get the reciprocation in the love that you deserve. Okay? I mean that's what I got. Good luck.